I practice corporate commercial litigation in Toronto at uh, the firm Osler, Hoskin & Harcourt. Uh, I always knew I wanted to be a litigator, it was just a question of where. Uh, ended up finding a fit at Osler, it's a fantastic firm. Uh, and in terms of my actual practice area, I am practiced primarily in the class actions realm with a specialty on securities and product liability. Uh, in terms of what I bring to the practice area, I mean, I, I don't know if I actually succeed, but what I attempt to bring is a uh, sort of practical, empathetic approach. There's always a strictly legal solution to a client's problem, and then there is a sort of what I'll call a business solution. And the, the key is to find some sort of happy marriage between the two. So I try uh, to the best of my ability to try to stay pragmatic in my approach and empathetic to the client's concerns while obviously also being mindful of the legal consequences. So I, I actually just finished a two and a half year trial in Montreal, um, which obviously involved a significant team. Uh, it was an interjurisdictional team because we, we have an office in Montreal, but it was, the file was staffed by folks from both our Toronto and our Montreal office, including myself. And then we also had a whole series of international parties and interests. So there was a significant amount of coordination, both internally at the firm, but also as between counsel from, from the US, from the UK, et cetera, all with a view to sort of defending a, a what turned out to be the largest class action in Canadian history. So uh, teamwork was effectively essential because with that many diverse interests uh, and constituents, without a functioning team, the, the trial never would have happened and the defense never would have been advanced. I had the benefit while at Osler of a number of fantastic mentors, uh, most of whom are, are still at the firm, so I'm fortunate in that regard. But in terms of what I'm trying to instill in the juniors uh, is that there, there is, there's no inconsistency between civility and, and the notion of fighting hard for your client's interests. Uh, oftentimes in litigation in particular, um, things can be contentious and uh, civility often takes a back seat to uh, strategic goals. Uh, and I've learned from a number of my mentors that the two are not anathema and then in fact they, they frankly go hand in hand. So uh, civility is something that I've actually frankly been primarily interested in and, and promoted as best I can with the juniors. It's essential to have a functioning working relationship, or more than functioning, you have to have a, a very strong working relationship with an in-house counsel to be successful. Um, you have to anticipate their needs and you have to anticipate uh, effectively what it is that they're seeking to achieve beyond st strictly legal goals. And so uh, a collaborative relationship with in-house counsel is essential. So I, do, I try to do as much pro bono as possible and frankly, I, I hope to do more. Um, but I, I do a lot of work, for example, for um, the Tourette Foundation of Canada. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how I fell into that, but it's been exceptional uh, just from a personal perspective because uh, I've, I've learned that um, sort of uh, so, so what, what we take for granted as, as, as legal solutions and, and uh, what we take as sort of a given in, in our everyday world, uh, a lot of these smaller entities that are commercially unsophisticated but doing spectacular work in the community, um, they don't have the resources and they don't have the know-how and so a little bit of guidance can go a long way and they are exceptionally appreciative of the effort and frankly it doesn't take a lot of work in, in terms of just pointing them in the right direction. Sometimes that's all they need uh, and it's been personally very rewarding. I also do a lot of work with emerging companies um, which I do on a pro bono basis and again that's just something that I'm interested in, I find it fascinating, and it's great to see these, these young startups turn into actually uh, viable commercial entities.